guys welcome to my kitchen and welcome to my home today we're making crepes or French crepes crepes are a fancy pancake I would say so it's the French version of making the American pancakes the difference is that the batter is more runny and it's very very thin almost paper thin and it's eaten sweet or savory it is so good it is perfect if you watch my pancake recipe a few few weeks back you would know that I like to make pancakes on the weekend but once in a while, like every four weekends or so, I like to get, I would like to indulge a little bit and make crepes. Uh, they're actually not harder to make than the pancakes. They're very easy to make. It's just that they're, I don't know, they're so thin and delicate and they just look so pretty and they have a French name. So you feel really fancy when you eat them. And topped with some Nutella, they are the most perfect breakfast ever and they also go great after any meal as a dessert and of course the best part is they're so easy to make and require very few ingredients so let's get started so the ingredients you need to make the crepes are some flour a little bit of salt some butter which I'm going to melt some milk and two eggs and if you're going to make sweet crepes or eat them sweet then you also need to add some sugar but if you're going to make savory or salted crepes then you should definitely omit the sugar first I will start by melting my butter so I'm gonna place this in the microwave for about a minute until it melts and then in a large bowl whisk together the eggs and the milk you really don't need a blender or an electric mixer to do this you can just do it by hand it's much simpler and easier to clean up and add in the melted butter and then to my flour I'm going to add the sugar and a little bit of salt and just lightly mix them together and add them to the um, egg mixture okay and now you're gonna whisk really well to have everything um, well incorporated and try to dissolve the flour but naturally you are going to get lumps and that's normal so what you will do after you whisk this is that you will strain it into another bowl and that way you ensure that you get a very smooth batter and you get rid of all the lumps and then you should let this rest for a couple of minutes at room temperature or also what you can do is you can cover it with saran wrap and place it in the refrigerator if you don't want to cook the crepes right away and actually if you want to prepare this ahead of time that you can do it the night before um, or even two days before and just leave it in the fridge covered and before you want to use it just take it out of the fridge uh, let it sit at room temperature for about half an hour and then cook it as you normally would now to cook your crepes you're going to use a non-stick frying pan or you can also use a, a crepier so actually I'm gonna start with this one what you need to do is you're going to heat your uh, pan your frying pan or your crepier and then you're going to spread some butter on the surface but really really not a lot like I just added a tiny little bit if you add too much butter what's gonna happen is that it's gonna overcook your crepe and you're gonna have like a, a brown crepe with brown lines and it's just you're gonna also taste the fat and you don't want that you just want to put enough butter so that it doesn't stick okay now for the size of this crepe here I need about half cup of batter so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stir the batter before I pour it because it's been sitting um, for about half an hour and then I'm going to use about half a cup of batter onto this size. See? It's beautifully golden so turn it and cook it on the other side for about 30 seconds or until you get the golden spots okay so now I'm going to show you using the frying pan so this is an 8 inch diameter frying pan non-stick 
uh, that's about 23 or 24 centimeters. So over medium heat, you're going to heat your pan, and when it's hot, you're going to add a tiny little bit of butter, just a little bit, and just spread it with a silicone pastry brush or with a paper towel. And you want your crepes to be about one to two millimeters thick. But of course you're not gonna measure them, so what you're gonna do is you're going to use, for this size, which is the, the eight inch uh, diameter, you're going to use a quarter cup of batter. And then you're going to twirl your pan like that until it coats the bottom. And let it cook for about a minute, a minute and a half, or until the bottom becomes golden brown. And then you will turn it and cook the other side for about 30 seconds. And that's it, and then just continue doing this until you finish all the batter. So my crepes are done. The smaller ones, I tend to just tack them on top of each other, like that. And the larger ones, because they are very large, they won't fit onto a plate, so I just fold them into quarters like this. And that's how they do it also in the bakeries in Paris. Now the way you eat your Nutella is... Nutella? Yes, you're supposed to use Nutella. <laughs> now if you made the savory crepes, you can fill them with cheese or um, turkey slices or even eggs it's really up to you but if you're having them sweet then you can obviously eat them with Nutella that's probably the most popular way to do so you can drizzle some maple syrup some whipped cream some uh, sweetened condensed milk that's how my husband loves to eat them you can eat them with fresh fruits bananas anything you want and actually in France I've seen them just sprinkle some sugar just granulated sugar and fold it and eat it like that at first I thought it was strange but Okay, they're French, and these are French crepes, and they know what to do with their crepes, so if they do it like that, then it's amazing. <laughs> okay, me personally, I'm a Nutella girl, so I'm going to have them with some Nutella. So just spread some Nutella on it like that. It is very good. It's such a such a smooth and silky and delicate pancake, I guess. <laughs> it's very soft and it's it's really nice. It's very French. Hmm. And you know what the best part is? I get to have these for breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> Cause now it's very late. But tomorrow I'm gonna heat them up. And you know, you can heat them because they're very thin. You can heat them on the same frying pan that you use to cook them. And what you do is you just, you don't need to add any butter or oil. Just um, heat the pan and place them on for like, I don't know, 10 seconds on each side and they'll become nice and warm. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do tomorrow morning. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe and I really hope you go make these crabs. They are wonderful. You can't go wrong with them. They're amazing. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Until next time, bye.